Canadian officials say the Humboldt Broncos junior hockey team from Saskatchewan was on the way to a game Friday when their bus was broadsided by a semi, killing at least 15. The worst nightmare has happened. Authorities say the team, with players ranging in age from 16 to 21, was scheduled to play in Nipawin and was near the town of Tisdale when the accident happened. The bus slammed onto its side. Among the dead, the team's head coach, Darcy Hogan, his sister confirming to NBC News. This player's mother says her son survived the tragedy but suffered a spinal injury. We're just so thankful and, and just devastated. Families gathered at the team's arena complex for information, for support. Shocking news to a small town of 5,800. We continue to investigate this collision and have deployed the appropriate resources and specialized investigators, including a collision reconstructionist team. Teams like the Broncos often travel great distances to games by van or bus. Inclement winter weather, a routine challenge during the season, though officials have not indicated what caused the crash. It's a blow to Canada's passionate and tight-knit hockey community. Condolences coming from around the nation and beyond, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, as well as NHL teams stunned by the sudden loss of life. You can't make up for loss. You just can't. It's got to rip the heart of your chest. Uh, we pray for those families and thinking about them. Tonight, a simple request, prayers for a heartbroken town. We're told 29 people in all were on the bus. 14 were injured. The driver of the semi-truck escaped unharmed. There has been an outpouring of support for this community tonight. Around the NHL, the team will be remembered, and hotels here have opened their doors to families that have been affected. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.